how to strengthen the lateral pterygoid inferior portion. The inferior, por inferior portion of the lateral pterygoid protracts the mandible straight forward. Uh, because of this, it decompresses the temporal mandibular joint and is thus a very important aspect of treating uh, TMD, okay, which is caused by compression shearing forces within the joint because the mandibular condyle is too far back. Another aspect is that uh, branches of the trigeminal nerve passes through the lateral pterygoids, such as the buccal nerve, and tightness uh, due to weakness of this muscle may irritate the buccal nerve. And this can lead to tinnitus and so on. It can also cause uh, facial numbness. Uh, we know also that the auriculotemporal nerve, another branch of the trigeminal nerve, lies behind the mandibular condyle. So if the mandibular condyle is resting too far back, uh, it can compress the auriculotemporal nerve and cause trigeminal neuralgia, numbness of the face, of the teeth, and so on. So how do we strengthen it? Well, once again, we have to be aware that Clenching of the suprahyoid is a super, super common way to cheat for these movements. And we know that the suprahyoid actually pulls the mandible back. So if a patient is clenching their suprahyoid because the lateral pterygoids are not functioning well, this will in great ways exacerbate the TMD because it increases joint shearing within uh, the glenoid fossa. So how do we strengthen it? Well. We want to move the mandible straight forward. We use our hands as the resistance, so I will show you from the side. I'm pushing posteriorly with my hands, and I'm making sure that the, the resistance is straight. It, it does not uh, promote deviation to one side or more resistance on one side. I'll show you with one hand so it looks a little more clean. If I'm using one hand, I'm pushing on the middle of the chin. So once again, my neck position is good. I have a long neck. I'm not under any circumstances clenching the suprahyoid. And I'm moving the mandible slowly and nicely straight forward. I'm not trying to make any faces. You will often see clients do that when they cannot access these muscles properly. They will try to do this. And that's a cl pretty clear sign that something is wrong. It should be quite easy for them to gently move the jaw forward and backwards while maintaining a, a mild pressure uh, through the hands. And of course, as uh, strength increases, you can increase the resistance with your hand. Uh, another common cheat is to move too fast. You will see them do this, clenching the super high, of course, and going really fast and falling back on the eccentric portion. That is not right, that's not how we do it, okay? It's a gentle movement. So I hope I have explained it well. Uh, it's a very important exercise, important muscles. They contribute to function and health of the TM, uh, TMJ. Have a nice day.